I'm just back from a duke about Dumfries and Galloway. I visited Drumlanrig Castle, Gardens and Grounds. Some of you may recognise this as one of the many Outlander locations. From there, I headed to Mull of Galloway for the night. It was dark when I arrived in the free car park, but I joined six or seven vans and another three or four car campers. But this was the view from the car in the morning. Up on the cliffs with a lighthouse and an RSPB centre with toilets and stunning views in all directions. There is a no drone sign, however, if that's your thing. The camper duke is tucked in behind that wall, there is a tea room just down the hill but I headed off early in the morning to avoid traffic on the three miles of single track road. I stopped at a nearby location to make breakfast before heading to Sandhead. Sandhead is a large beach area and clearly popular with camper vans, all making breakfast when I arrived. There are three public toilets here, I took a stroll along the beach before heading for Port Patrick. I've been to Port Patrick a number of times. Parking is free, but parking overnight and cooking is not permitted. I walked around the village and harbour. There was a canoe club preparing to leave, people already on the pitch and putt green, but it was too early for lunch, so I headed to Agnew Park in Stranraer, where I intended to visit the Driftwood Cafe. But passing Lidl on the way into town, Lunch ended up being a coronation chicken filled flatbread, toasted in the NGT toasty maker and served with a Mediterranean salad. I sat at the grassy area to the rear of the large free car park looking out to sea. Next stop, Castle Kennedy Gardens. I've never been here before, or so I thought. Beautiful gardens and grounds with a huge round pond full of Victorian water lilies and the black lock on one side, the white lock on the other. As well as the walled garden, there are terraces and mounds and avenues of cordyline and monkey puzzle trees, as well as some other interesting areas, including the ruins of Castle Kennedy and its replacement, Loch Inch Castle. I returned to the entrance and the wee bridge over the canal to take some more photos. From here I took the Ayrshire Coast Road home, stunning in the great weather, only a few brief stops at Cairn Ryan, Ballantrae and Girvan. When I got home I discovered that I'd been to Castle Kennedy before. This photo was taken in around 1974. In summary, Dumfries and Galloway seems very camper friendly with free car parks and free facilities. There were a lot of camper vans about but it didn't seem overly busy. The roads were still relatively quiet and I was there in the last weekend of the Scottish school holidays in glorious weather. Highly recommended.